What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Bianconeri Zone and we are going to talk about why Juntoli is having such a hard time to make deals happen and needs uh, buy time, needs to structure the deals in a very odd way which teams definitely do not like uh, as has been shown in the last couple of weeks but he doesn't have much of a choice and we're going to talk about this list and why we need let's say 85 million euros almost to do or have a decent transfer window whilst being sustainable and also kind of moving away from so many issues created by previous people at the club and now Juntoli is asked to clean up whilst being competitive. But before we do that, as always, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and let's go. Okay, so the 85 million euro list basically. These are the players we want to move out. We definitely put out on the market, you know, they are definitely for sale basically or for loan, whatever. And the values or the cost on the books basically. So what we still need to get to actually make it look half a decent, you know. Um and it starts off with Chiesa. Now these are Korea Dor Sport type of uh, figures and so on so it could be off they could be on point who knows let's say they're they're up there you know so for Chiesa we need 23 million euros and um, that was consistent with the news we've always been hearing we want 25 plus bonuses it makes sense now the value drop at 15 it doesn't make really sense the only thing makes sense is that Klopp is desperate to get players out really desperate and we will get in a minute to a player they were so desperate they, they cut him, basically. Um, so, Keza has a big cost on the book. Like, he has a big value on the book that we need to overcome. You know, it's easy to say to Keza, you're not part of the team. But on the books, it's hard to explain that to the book. You know, the book is not listening. The book is saying, well, fine, if you don't want Keza anymore, but we need X amount of money to kind of balance it out, to write it off. Otherwise you're 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 just creating more issues right now and if you do that with one player fine if you start doing that with one two three four players you're getting in trouble you know you're actually being so desperate that you are willing to even create a bigger hole just to get rid of these players so Chiesa is stopping that list and right now it's a weird situation because the news is that he wants to leave on a free apparently you know that's what that is that that's his angle that uh, he didn't really want to sign a deal. He wanted to go again at the Euros. Maybe he could have got, gotten a better deal. And Junta said, "That's it. That's definitely gonna happen. You get. You you just need to leave. We're not doing this anymore. And we are not in a situation where he doesn't have offers. Roma trying to push out DiBala. They want to potentially bring back in Keza. But the value is what it is right now. The situation has been created. You cannot lose him on a free, definitely. But that's the value on the books. Second on the list, Arthur, seventeen and a half million. No way. Like, there's no way you're going to make that money back. Absolutely no chance. I don't even know where the player is. Is he at the Continasa? I doubt it. I think he's just out and about. Fiorentina back in the race, but very unlikely. His wages are insane. We renewed him before he went to Fiorentina so we can loan him out, basically. You know, because you cannot loan out when he's a free agent, so on, so on. And that's what happened. He's back. 17.5 million. There's no team on this planet paying that. And his wages. It's just not going to happen. This is, for Juntili, probably the worst situation possible with Arthur. Because even being a sporting director, I pro Juntili probably is sitting there being like, who the hell am I going to sell Arthur to? Like, who the hell is jumping of joy, basically, to sign Arthur? That's just not going to happen. It feels impossible. I think it is impossible. I think we will try to cut him. We will try to... Make anything happen back, Pastorello, his agent, to do something and help us out right here because you're not going to get rid of him. Third on the list, Chesney. Cut. We're cutting him. 13.6 million euros on the books. We are cutting him. We are paying him to leave. And probably, let's say he's earning 7.5, we're paying close to 5 million euros to make him leave, basically. That situation has been handled poorly. I don't care what people say. Again, 
You got Di Gregorio. It's not Juntoli's fault that you cannot sign Chesney, Sal Chesney. It is. It is. If you make, if you sign Di Gregorio whilst Chesney is still on the books, and at the end of the day you need to cut Chesney, I'm looking at the sporting director. I'm not looking at the player. The player has a contract. He doesn't need to leave. If he says no, then it's no. But he said yes, but there are no offers. Monza, but we need to pay the wages, so on, so on. Saudi League, but they pulled out, even though he agreed to join them. Like, what are we doing right now? That is a mistake on Juntuli. It's pressure on Di Gregorio right now because the, the costs are elevating, you know, because I thought Chesney was a good goalkeeper. I understand why they made that move. You know, he didn't want to re renew at a lower cost. And the club was like, okay, we need to jump on Di Gregorio or maybe next season he's gone as well, you know. So I get the whole entire situation, I guess. But still, that's on Juntili. If he fails to sell uh, Chesney, that's on you. You made that decision early on. Not me, not the fans. It's you. <clears throat> Players have contract. They don't need to leave. So that is a massive value. We're going to pay Chesney to leave after eight years of great service. We are paying him off to leave and for me he was still the top goalkeeper he was still very good you know it's not that we are paying off a Ramsey or a Kedira or a Arthur to leave we're paying up a player a very good player actually to leave it's a very surreal situation it's, it's a poorly managed situation because you're paying off a good player to leave but that's happening so forget about that one <clears throat> book on the cost massive L McKenny 8.5 you should be getting that if not for him asking 4 million euros a season. You can easily get that money on the books for McCanny, Probably around 15. But if he's asking for 4 million euros. He's going to stay. If, even if you're not going to play him. There's no team on this planet. Who's going to pay McCanny 4 million euros a season. Absolutely a no chance. There's, there's just no chance. So that is on him. In terms of it will depend on him. Because he will get that transfer fee. But if he doesn't lower his demands, then no club is going to be in for him. So you're kind of stuck with McKenny right now. 8.5, you should be getting that. Kostic, 7. You should be able to get that. Problem, absolutely no offer. 3.5 million. He's just comfortably sitting there saying, I don't need to leave. If it's not a good offer, why would I leave? Again, weird situation. Not created by Juntili. He dropped the price at an all-time low. And there's still no offers for him. So... What more can you do in that situation uh, when it comes to a uh, costage? Um, right now, it's 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 like, is he gonna leave? Yeah, he's on the market, but who's gonna buy him? Who's gonna pay him the wage? So difficult one. Diallo five point one. What we pay for him, basically? Um, yeah, I, I, like I don't even know what to say about that deal. We signed him when he was free. Right now. Um, try to loan him out now he's like sell me I don't want to be here at the club if you make a profit fine but I thought it was just a waste of energy you know in in January and now I think it's a waste of energy uh, you could have just saved that money in my opinion uh, I guess um, are you gonna you will probably get that money you know we will probably get that money back but just, yeah it just feels it feels odd it feels off uh, it feels very strange it feels like just actually a waste of time of keep Buying and selling, just taking energy and time away from the real transfer deals. But that's 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 it right now. You know, club doesn't think he's good enough, or Malta doesn't think he's good enough, and now you, you're moving him up. De Chilio, three point five. I don't think you're gonna get three point five. Uh, I think that's that's a player you just ter terminate his contract and just piss off, get out. You know, one point five million. Just get terminate that contract. Agree. Let him leave on a free whatever. Just get these players out of the club. Nothing more to say on that. Rugani, 3.3, crazy situation. You knew him when you knew Mota was going to join. And now Mota's like, actually, I don't like Rugani. And, and Juntil is like, yeah, please leave on loan to Ajax for one season. Or join the Saudi League and we can sell you on. It, 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 crazy. Like, I talked about it. You renew them and four months later, you're loaning them out on a free loan. Like, I can talk about that for another hour. It's just... I, I cannot really explain that. Like somebody needs to, needs to tell me what sense it had to renew him. Like actually give me a good reason. Maybe you guys in the comment, but for now, none. Nicolucci, well, you can get that money back easily. I think you get around five to eight million euros. The Venezia deal is still on hold. Can move on, but I think we will find a club for Nicolucci. So that's 
probably the least of our issues is up there. You know, it's it's Arthur, it's Chesney because you cut him, it's McKenny because his wage demands, it's Kostic because his wages. You know, so big big issues for Juntili. Um very thin squad. Uh hopefully he doesn't need to go back to these players to come back or back. They will come back, but we we what mindset? You know, they're not part of preseason. They probably didn't even talk with Mota besides one time. And now you're probably or potentially asking these players to come back and help you out that season. Yeah, that cannot happen. So a lot of work for Juntili. Like, we're not going to replace all of them. Arthur was not at the club, so you don't need to really replace him. Uh, Dechilio wasn't part of the club, so you don't need to replace him. Diallo didn't play. You didn't, don't really need to replace him. Uh, you need to replace Kostic, we did McKenny. you did Chesney, you need to replace Chiesa, Rugani, so a lot of work, but that's the money on the books, that's the money that we need to recoup, and I'm going to tell you, we are not going to get close to it, you know, if it's 85 and we get 50, I think it's already massive, but let me know in the comments what you think, like the video, subscribe, and I will speak to you guys later tonight for a live show, ciao.